Hey, this is Jim with MeasureQuick. I uh, had a couple questions about how to start a project from the cloud uh, once you've stored it in there. So I'm going to go ahead and just put in some demo data here, um, just so we got some data to work with. And this is just like you maybe have your paired, your probes paired up and started and you want to start a project now. So what I'm going to do is hit project at the bottom, select uh, an air conditioning project, and then I'm going to use cloud data for that. And it's going to go out and search for um, equipment in your area. There's two types of projects. Uh, I'm going to show you the first one here. I'm going to select this site 88. And what you're going to see uh, when that comes up is it's got a black lock on the right hand side. That means I have not paid for that project yet. So I can click on that and start a project with it, but it's going to uh, charge me five qubits to get that going and that'll be open for a year. Or I can cancel and uh, in this case that's what I'm going to do here and um, go back and I'll do another search. So site two is my house and I have that one actually unlocked. So I'm going to click on that. You'll see it's now got a green unlock button next to it, meaning it's a project that I've been in before uh, in the last year. I'll click on equipment and I'll start the project. And then it pre-populates the project, the job site, the equipment information and profile. So everything is in there. And now at this point, I just go into measurements. You can see all my measurements are in, but I have diagnostics. So I can click on my diagnostics. In this case, I have a low sensible capacity. Um, if I want to see what's going on there, I can just go to my performance calculations and you can see my sensible, my latent cooling are low. And that's because um, I have a, uh, all the data in here for a two ton system and demo data and I have a three ton system. So it's, you can see it's running about a third of what it would do. Um, so I'd figure out what's going on there. In this case, we know what's going on. All I have to do is hit save data and then I can uh, hit view. And at this point is where I can attach my photo documentation, uh, which I have uh, models and serial numbers there, so I'll show you how that works. I hit share, export as PDF. I get an option to um, reorganize my report if I want to, and as far as the section goes, I can go with a light or dark theme. I can include the company logo. I can show the range indicators. So just go ahead and generate the report with those options, and you can see uh, everything's there. So this is just a real quick, easy way um, to uh, you know, basically uh, do a tune-up now because I don't have to fat finger and all that data anymore. It's all in the cloud. It makes it super fast and simple to use. And everything's you know already benchmarked. So um, all that system information you can see, if I click on that, that's the benchmark. So I know that's a benchmark system. I have the exact target superheat, the exact target subcooling. I have the total external static pressure target. Um, you know, everything's, everything's there as, uh, as run and everything's already pre-profiled because it's a, a project I saved in the cloud. When I'm all done here, I just hit exit, hit exit and sync. It's going to save that data to the cloud. And then next time I come out, I'm uh, good to go. So that's how you access projects in the cloud. If you got any questions or comments, please leave them below.